Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, my name is Nicole. And if you're here today watching this video, I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. What do we have here today? We have a BoxyCharm unboxing with a story. So yes, this is a BoxyCharm unboxing and I'm very well aware that it is almost July, but I just received my BoxyCharm. So, I know that this is a common thing right now. Everybody's kind of receiving their boxy charms a little bit later than normal, and it's okay. I'm not mad at it. But let me tell you something I am mad at. Hell no, boxy charm. You cannot do this to me. Here's a little story. Today is June 26th, and I am filming my boxy charm unboxing. This is my boxy lux. And I did get my boxy premium a little bit earlier with no issues. I want to say that. And today is June 27th, and I got my Boxy Lux yesterday. But I got a notice in the post, like a Canada Post sticky mail notification thing in my mailbox telling me I had a package at my local post office. And I, for the life of me, did not think that it would be my Boxy Charm. So my box went to the post office. And I actually had to go pick it up. I got my notification on June 22nd and I didn't go for a few days because I didn't know what it was. I was watching Glam with Suzanne. You might also know her as BoxyCharm Sneak Peeks on Instagram. And uh, she was saying that like some of the BoxyCharms were being charged duties. Then it dawned on me, <laughs> I have a ticket that I have to go and pick up a parcel. So I went there and I'll be damned. It is my BoxyCharm charging me $18 and change for my box. So, no BoxyCharm. Y'all cannot do that. That is so wrong. I don't know now. I'm not like a logistics expert or anything of that nature. I don't know who decides what gets charged duties and what doesn't. But I do also know that Joe uploaded an apology saying that he's sorry that Canadian bossy charmers were being charged duties. It's because they outsourced their shipping for the month of June, I believe. Some things kind of got looked over, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, he apologized for it and acknowledged it, but never said that he was going to do anything about it from my knowledge and it's kind of irritating because I pay at like $80 for my boxy lux. I think it's around $80, $89 and then adding on another 18 something makes my boxy lux $100. Anyways, I think that maybe, you know, maybe we should get a credit or something, or I don't know, some something else. Maybe an extra product in our box for all Canadians or something next month. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just ranting at this moment. Okay, so let's actually just move on to what's in the box. This is my Boxy Lux for the month of June. So just some details about the box, because I know some people like to know what the dimensions and the weight are. Are. So the dimensions are 27.9 by 24.1 by 11.4 centimeters and the weight is 1.357 kilograms which is just under three pounds. So I got my little card here. It's the theme this month is Oasis. My variation is 18. So the first thing that I'm gonna pull out is Highly Skin Foaming Face Wash. It retails for $24 American. This product I just couldn't care less for. It's not that I don't like any Kylie products. It's just that it never intrigued me. I'm going to read from the card what it says. So a luxurious foaming face wash is infused with ultra nourishing kiwi seed oil packaged with vitamin C and E to help maintain moisture and improve elasticity. Uh, this gentle formula cleanses skin by helping to remove dirt, oil, and makeup for a fresh, bright complexion. I love the packaging. It's really, really cute. It smells really nice. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a try. I kind of really just love what I'm already using. I love that it is cruelty-free. It's vegan, paraben-free, gluten-free. It's good for 12 months after you open it. I really like that. It is made in the USA. Okay, so the second item is by Touch and Soul. It is No Pore Blem Prime Essence. And the packaging is like this. And I don't know, but I feel like I've received this before. I could be wrong, but I feel like I've received it before. Maybe I've owned it before in the past. You get one fluid ounce. I really love the applicator on here. So it kind of drips like so. 
Touch and Sew has some really nice products and I do enjoy using their products. The thing about it is I can find them quite frequently at Marshalls. So I have picked them up there in the past and I've had, I have enjoyed using their products. It has a very light fragrance. It feels so hydrated. So I don't know if you can tell, but I applied it on this hand right here. And I don't know if you can see the hydration. <laughs> But that feels really, really nice. So let's read the claims on this product. It is a prime essence for anyone looking to take their makeup routine to the next level. This formula is enriched with candanula, sorry if I butchered that, flower extracts to minimize pores and smooth skin texture. Use on its own or pair it with no pore no pore blum primer to create the perfect blank can canvas for your next killer look. Okay, so I really love how that feels. At first, it feels very liquidy, liquidy and very oily, but like as you like rub it in, it feels really, really smoothing to the skin. So I think I will actually enjoy, really enjoy this product. I'm thinking about maybe doing like a six months BoxyCharm update to see which products like I actually used and enjoyed from BoxyCharm. Let me know if that's something that interests you. <laughs> This product is, like I said, one ounce, and it is good for 12 months. It is made in Korea, and it has a few ingredients in there that I don't like, like EDTA and perfume, but you know what? I just gotta get over it at this point because I'm never gonna win that fight. But I also already own the No Problem, Problem Primer, so I'm happy to give them a try together to see if they work nicely. I have no doubt that they're gonna work really nicely together. Oh, I didn't tell you how much, this is $23. Okay, so the third product in here is one that I knew I was getting because it was one of the choice items for the Lux for the month of June. And though I wasn't really overall enthusiastic about any of the choices that we had for June, I went with this as one of my choices. It is from Tula Skincare, and now Tula, I believe, like, to my knowledge, I've tried a few of their products, makes amazing skincare products. Their acne wash, the probiotic one, great. If you have acne prone skin, that is a fantastic wash. This eye bomb stick delivers a lit from within glow while instantly hydrating, cooling, and filling in fine lines around the eyes. That sounds like something I could really use. You'll feel awake with this eye balm and look refreshed and energized so you can glow and get it. And it retails for $28. So it looks like this here. So it's a little eye balm. It also was their probiotics and superfoods. So maybe that line in general. This reminds me of like many products that I've used in my past. Doesn't have much of a fragrance. I'm gonna, that, that essence from touch and soul like I want to wash my makeup off and just put that all over my face because it feels so good this one feels exactly like hard candy has a primer a cooling primer this is for the eye but that one's for the face and like the consistency and the feel of it it feels like exactly the same as that so it is definitely very cooling I don't know how long that cooling sensation is gonna last for um, when you first put it on, it actually has some little bit of an iridescence to it. So which is probably why it says it makes you look awake because it's probably like with the iridescence probably just reflects the light and just gives you that more awake apparent appearance, kind of like how a highlighter works. I don't know exactly how to use it. So apply directly to the eye area under makeup, reapply throughout the day for an instant pick me up. I don't know if that's reapply over your makeup or... If you're not wearing makeup, reapply it. Like, not quite sure what that means. But I could see myself using this underneath my concealer. Like, I don't know if it's still going to have the same effect. It might just feel nice. Fill in some fine lines that I can't argue with. So, I'm going to try it. Like, I'm not mad at it. So, not bad. So, you get 10 grams of product in here. It also has a shelf life after you open it for 12 months. It is cruelty-free and it, it is made in the USA. Okay guys, so the next item in here is one that I'm most excited about, I believe so. It is the Tarte Tardius Pro Amazonian Clay Palette. So this is the packaging for it. And here is the palette. This palette currently sells at Sephora for $65. And here's what she looks like. I think I will get 
a lot of use out of this eyeshadow. It's definitely something that I think I can wear to work every day. The big mirror in here, guys, is like something that I love. Smaller palettes I like to fold back, but bigger palettes like this, it's okay because it can sit on your vanity and you can use this to do your makeup. What I absolutely love about this eyeshadow palette, the colors are kind of laid out for you and a great color scheme already. You have one line of shimmers right here and the rest of these are matte. But what I love is that this color scheme, this color scheme, this color scheme, and this color scheme, it starts you off from lightest to build your way up to the darkest. So like even this right here can get you a nice foxy eye look. Putting some of the shimmers on top to like amp up your look. And it even smells like coca. You can get yourself like a brown look right here and more of a mauve look right here. And then you can have more of like a berry plummy look here. And then here you get like a neutral look. She is also cruelty free, made in the USA, and also has a 12 month shelf life after opened. It's formulated without parabens, mineral oil, phthalates, tri, <laughs> I am the worst at reading, tri lo sodium lauryl sulfate, which is a ingredient I hate, and gluten. A little bit what it says here, it says prepare for an expression explosion. Being passionate about pigment, this sequel to the OG Pro palette came to play. This rich, vibrant, 20 shade superstar was formulated to calibrate all forms of art and expression. It's ready to rock your world and remix yourself. Retails for $49 American, but like I said, I found it on Sephora. Canadian, $65. And it comes with this little card inside that gives you like different ideas like to of eye looks to create. It's a palette that I've always wanted to own, but I never really wanted to like purchase it for the full price, you know? Item number five. This is also a product that I knew I was getting. And I picked it because like I said, I was kind of underwhelmed by all the choices that we had. So this is the OC. I think that's how you say it, OC. One of them letters could be silent, I don't know. It is a jade stone. Feels like glass to me. It looks like a tooth. Bring the spa home and mimic the effects of our cult favorite skincare studio treatment. Chisel, lift, and define facial contours with this jade tool. Melt muscle tension and improve skin firmness with constant use. Facial gua sha can help smooth fine lines and wrinkles. I'm sorry, I, I don't know if I said that right. I like how it comes in a little bag so you don't lose it and it looks cute and you can take it if you want to travel or whatever, if it's something you feel like you need to travel with. But I mean, I wouldn't go out Maybe I would if I saw this, like at Marshalls or something, pick it up. I also have like some jade rollers and stuff like that that I've picked up before. So here are the instructions. Cleanse face and hands. Prep the skin with favorite Osea facial oil or serum. I'll probably just use whatever one that I have. The, the skin has to be clean, yes, and it has to be oiled up so that the stone slips nicely over the face. It says hold the stone against the skin at a 15 degree angle and apply light to medium pressure. Under the eyes, gently sweep from inner corner to out con outer contour. So you probably use this and you would like go like up, up with an oil, like that'll feel so amazing. I think it'll feel great like if you're doing it on somebody, like if you want to do your husband or your sister or your daughter or your mom, just put some oil and just kind of, anyways, use long and slow intentional movements to relax the muscles. To sculpt and define, use upward and outward strokes. Wash the stone after each use, throw it in its bag. So it tells you which motions to like use it at. I don't know. I can see myself doing that. I do like a pamper routine on a Saturday night. Usually give myself a facial. Probably work this into my self-care routine. Oh, I want to say that retails for $32 American. That like seems pretty expensive to me. So I like to pick, I like to choose things like that when I get the opportunity just because it's not something that I would probably purchase for that price on my own. So yeah. Next item is the Billion Dollar Brows Charcoal 5-Piece Brush Set. So here's the brush set. So in this 5-piece brush set, you have a powder brush, contour blush brush, a concealer brush, brush, an eyeshadow brush, a highlighter brush. Now I don't I don't think it means like highlighter like this. I think it means like highlighter like underneath the brow, the inner corner. Tapered bristles apply and blend highlighter to small areas 
of the face, I guess. So it says it is bamboo charcoal infused bristles. They're vegan, cruelty free, no artificial dyes. Made in China. The thing about billion dollar, dollar brows is I see this line all the time at Marshalls. We got a billion dollar brow universal brow pencil and one of our previous boxy charms. And honestly, a lot of people didn't like that product from what I gather, but I loved it. I loved that product so much. Though I've seen it at Marshalls before and I've never picked it up. And as soon as I used it, I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. And I know they retailed for $5.99 at Marshalls. So we literally went and picked up five of them. I mean, and then we got some other stuff that from Billion Dollar Brows. But these, these bristles, guys, like, they're soft, but they feel synthetic. Like, you, you know, you have some synthetic brushes that don't feel so synthetic. Like, this literally feels like plastic. And they're shiny as well. Like they are so soft and fluffy. But you know what? I'm pretty sure they're going to work really, really nicely. So I am never, 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 never mad about getting brushes in my BoxyCharm. It is such a good way to build your brush collection. And I love how it has like a flat top so you can kind of stand it on your vanity if you want to. But being like very thick like this and not tapered, like it takes up a lot of room. Like I stand my brushes in like a carousel-like thing. So this will take up a lot of room because of like how big the barrel is, but I think it's cute still. So what it says is that these vegan, cruelty-free, and synthetic brushes are charcoal infused for an antimicrobial effect, allowing for flawless makeup and eyeshadow application retails for $55. I'm not mad about getting brushes ever, so I will definitely use these. Like I said, maybe I'll let you know in the future how that works out. Okay guys, only two more products. The next product is by Pure Heels. Pure Heels, I think that's how you say it. This product right here, it says Pure Heels Propolis 80 Sleeping Mask. It's an enriched sleeping mask providing full nourishment and glowing skin to tired skin while sleeping. The Propolis extract forms a water oil protective barrier that soothes irritated sensitive skin. Retails for $55. How to use. Use instead of cream at the end of your day. Daily skin care regimen. Leave on overnight and rinse off in the morning. Can be used at night every day. The jar is really heavy. It's really heavy. You get 100 mils of product, so 3.38 fluid ounces. It is made in Korea. Oh, it's our expiration date on the bottom is February 27, 2023. A few ingredients in there that I wasn't happy about are EDTA, parabens. There are a couple of different parabens in there, actually. So it does say here that it has honey. So it says, nourishing and rich with 80% honeybee propolis extract provides full nourishment and glowing skin for a tired skin while you sleep so and yeah the first ingredient is propolis extract which is 80% and then glycerin and then an aloe leaf juice so the remaining of the ingredients that I don't like is less than 1% which is okay I mean like we all can live with that right but yeah honey is the first ingredient in here which like really amazes me looks like honey are you kidding it looks like honey. Look, Oh, it is highly fragranced. Wow. And I can't even find fragrance on here, which is, it smells like a hair salon. It smells like, it smells chemically, but it's, it doesn't seem overly chemically. The consistency, oh, <laughs> the consistency, guys, is like water. Like, you put it on and then, like, it's like a water cream for sure. Oh, that is heavenly. I don't enjoy the smell. It smells like clean hair. It's like what I want my hair to smell like. Not so much my face, but I'm going to have lovely skin after this. This hand is jealous, so I'm going to put some over here. kind of just want to put that, like, all over my body. That feels like something. It feels like aloe. Like, yeah, it feels like aloe. Aloe is the third ingredient in there. So I get the aloe. Really, really get the aloe. Okay, guys, the last item. So this... Boxy Lux, we got eight products. Other than the Kylie skin that I'm actually intrigued by now that I have smelt it and like looked at it and read what it's all about. I think I like the box. The last item is Bodyography Lip Pencil Set. Bodyography Lip Pencil Set in Pouty and Rosewood. So it says, antioxidant lip pencil that glides on like your 
favorite lipstick with precise pigment, rich color to frame, fill in, and define lips. Enriched with coconut oil and vitamin E. So you have a two pack lip pencil. I actually don't mind getting lip liners. I don't. So I saw um, a YouTuber do a video on their boxing. She got the same ones and she said her lids don't stay on. So my lids stay on, like they stay on. See? So this one is in the color Rosewood. It's so smooth guys. Really, it really, really went on really nicely. This one is pouty and the other one is Rosewood. I really like both of those colors and I am not mad at getting either of those. They retail for $28. They are 1.1 gram each and it is a 12 month shelf life after opened. It is paraben free. Anyways guys, I, though I'm upset with BoxyCharm for the duties that I had to pay on my box, like I really, really, really don't think that that's cool. Like that is not cool. You all need to do something about that. And if that happens again, I may just have to cancel my box. Though I love getting the little surprises in the mailbox every month that feels like Christmas when you have BoxyCharm. That's why I just love getting little like surprises. You don't know what you're gonna get. It's like a surprise. Like just, I just love that feeling. So I don't know, how do you guys like this video in natural lighting? Like I don't have any studio lighting or anything today. This is all natural lighting. Let me know if you like that. Let me know what you got in your BoxyCharm and if you like anything that I got in my BoxyCharm. How do you feel about the duties? Like, do you think that that's okay? Do you think that BoxyCharm should do something else about it other than apology? Like, I don't know. That's okay. Like, I'm actually happy that he acknowledged it. Let's move on. Let's not let it happen again, though. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, ciao.